Howdy, howdy, folks. Thank you all for stopping in. My name is Travis Shallow. I'm a songwriter based out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and I've been a Breed Love endorsed artist for the last few years. And uh, I, uh, Breed Love Acoustic has been my main stage guitar for coming up on 15 years now. So, today, body shapes. They can be confusing. Uh, they don't have to be. So, in today's video, we're going to go through the four different body shapes in the Breed Love line, the tone characteristics, what makes them unique. And uh, so, whether you're looking for your first acoustic guitar to buy, or you're looking to add on to the stable with your second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever the number is, guitar, we got you covered. So um, this first one, let's start with the biggest and kind of work our way down. This one on my hands here is the Concerto model. This is, uh, this is Breed Love's, um, the comparable would be a Dreadnought. So this is Breed Love's version of a Dreadnought. Um, I, this specific one is um, the premier Concerto line and I keep it in open D all the time. It's a cannon and I love it. It's nice, right? Big, lush, full overtones. Um, so this is the biggest one in the line. Let's kind of let's kind of work our way down here. The next one. This is where it all kind of got started with Breed Love. This is the concert body, um, which uh, the comparable um, body shape out there is, you know, like the auditorium or the OM models. Real balanced tone. Um, what I mean by that is all the strings have an equal volume. There's not an accentuated low end or high end or scoop mids or mid boost. Um, and this is the all Koa model, Koa top, Koa back and sides, um, part of their um, their eco line. The exact model is the Pursuit EXS Concert EDCE. It's a mouthful, but it's part of the eco collection. nice it covers all your bases whether you're finger picking or whether you're uh whether whether you're strum heavy um this one kind of kind of kind of has you covered all right Concert. Now, you can see too, kind of an OM, auditorium, comparable, but uh, real nice, real balanced, where it all started. I love this one. All right, and as you can see, work our way down to the, to, the, uh, to the next smallest model, or I should say the next size down. This is, this is where you get to the Concertina. Now, I love this one. Um, I'm kind of doing like a line in mic blend. Um, for this video, but I love this one. I love writing with this one. The smaller body makes it, um, I get no like player's fatigue. Um, you know, sometimes when you have a bigger body, a bigger body guitar, you, um, and you, you're playing it for a few hours, you know, it's just bigger real estate. This one you can really get your hands around, get your body around it, but you're not really sacrificing tone. You still have this real balanced um, volume of the strings across the tonal spectrum. But um, it also, um, it's got an impressive amount of low end for its size. But this is kind of like you're comparable to the parlor size guitars. Um, Now we're down to the smallest of the small. This is the Companion. 
This is your travel guitar. This is your uh, what I personally use it for if I'm going to the beach, around a campfire. This is definitely the smallest of the bodies. You can play this thing all day long with no player's fatigue. But um, it's not going to have that full, full body of the concert or the concerto or even for the concertina for that model. But um, it's great to write on. I record with this a lot, too. Um, it's great if you're just adding another texture and part of a mix. But those are the four body lines. The companion, which is like your, um, your travel guitar. The concertina, which is one size up, which is like your parlor guitar. You have your concert, which is like your auditorium OM model. And then you have your concerto back here, which is like the dreadnought. 